welcome back to the channel guys so on today's video we're going to show you how to do a, a half cross it's a bit like obviously a crossover like that similar way in bending but you only bend it twice and it's going to end up looking like something like like that so if you need to get across a pipe to tee into another pipe and you're not going to use a lot of fittings then obviously a lot of elbows then obviously i'm going to show you the way how to do it so what you do guys is you get your pipe let's imagine these are running horizontally and then pick your starting point and then measure 40 mil from your starting point backwards so we'll get the tape measure and I'll do it to the camera get the tape measure and then Just make sure when you're doing your markings, guys, that you take it around the pipe as you need to flip it when it's in the pipe bender. Like that. So basically, that's your 40 mil marking. And then what you do is you put your first mark into the bender just remember that's your reference guard that's your guard mark and then you need to bend it 60 degrees as you would if you was doing a passover There you go guys, 60 degrees, and then what you do is you flip it over and then you bend your second mark, make sure she's square like that, she doesn't want to be like that, it wants to be like that, so it's, so it's square with the benders, make sure you get your second mark in where the guard is this wants to be bent at 30 degrees just checking it's it's straight so that one's bending at 30 degrees On careful so I don't go too much. Take care of the benders. So you're left with something like that. So what you do is you need to position the T so it's going to be straight with that pipe there. So for example, I'm not 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 enough room on it yet. So, if we say about, say about, about there, mark it, which will give you about there, guys, and then cut that, cut that off at that mark. Like that. 
put your tea on. Plumber's move, guys. Put air on there, like that. And there's your half pass. There you go, guys. That is how you do a half pass. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you, guys, and look out for our next video. So what we're going to do today is we're going to bend this pipe so it comes in line with that pipe there. So what we do is we need to mark the centre from that pipe and mark it on this pipe here. So we're going to use the line on the graph board and then we're going to put the mark in there, guys, like that. And then what we do is we measure 70 mil back from that mark. So we'll get the tape measure and then we put the tape measure there and we measure 70 mil back from that mark there or seven centimetres if you're working centimetres. As you can see, so you've got your 70 mil this distance there from the centre of the pipe, 70 mil back is that mark there where you'll be bending from. So what we'll do then guys is we'll take that off the board and then we'll put that into the bender. And so I'll explain to you on this bender. So on this Monument Masters bender, you've got four markings. So that mark in there is a 30 degree bend. That mark in there is a 45 degree bend. That mark in there is a 60 degree bend. And that mark in there, the last marking is a 90 degree bend. And these have a spring back on these. So I always bring it just back a little bit, just past that 90 degree mark. So what we'll do guys is We've got your pipe here that goes into your bender like that. Remember to align that marking up with that locating peg on your monument master master's bender. And then what you do is you bend that at a 90 degree elbow. Sorry, 90 degree bend. Trying to keep it under the camera for you. There you go. Just come past it, guys. Remember the um, it's got a bit of a spring back on it. So there you go. So there's your 90 degree bend, and then obviously that's going to go in there like that. So obviously you're going to have your you're going to have your fitting. That's going to go in there. So if you just whip that off there, that little bit off there. And you've got your coupler in there. There you go, guys. So that is how you do a Nancy degree bend with copper pipe using the graph board look out for our next video guys and thanks for watching i'm going to show you how to do a pass over so just imagine that this pipe is in the way and we need to get across from that side there in the center of that offset so what we would do is we would mark the center there and then a method would be to obviously from the center mark there we would obviously mark 40 mil from the back and 50 mil from the front which is from the center so we'll get a tape and then what we'll do is we'll measure i'll do it in front of the camera so we'll measure 40 mil from the back and then we'll do 50 mil from the front there as you can see guys and then because it's going to go into the bend there and we'll turn it around just mark it all the way around 
like that. The saw, and then this one here, which is the back. So roughly, as you can see, we've got the center mark, the 50 mil to the front, and the 40 mil to the back. So first of all, you put it into your bender guys, like that, on your first mark, and you pull a bend on that at 60 degrees. Just make sure she's lined up. Get for the camera. So you pull a bend on that at 60 degrees, which on the benders is that mark there. That's now, sorry, it's that mark there. Because that's your 60 degree mark and that's your 90 degree mark. So we'll pull a bend. Now it's got, as you can see. Your first bend you pull, and then the second two bends which you will be pulling is going to be on that mark and at that mark, so they're going to be pulled at 30 degrees. So if you flip it over like that, put that back in your bender, make sure she's straight. If you can see on the camera, guys, make because she I, I don't, want, don't want to be ending up like that, it wants to be straight center with the line on the bender and then you bank that back in there like that just check she's check she's straight again sorry about camera guys there you go and then pull that at 30 degrees There you go, as you can see, and then put her back in the bend there for the third pull, which is on that mark there. Get her back in the bender, guys. Just so, make sure she's straight. That's it. There you go, and pull that one to get in front of the camera. There you go, guys. You see, you've got a pretty much decent pass over or crossover, and there you go. There you go, guys. Oh, you can go over that way. Over that way, so as you can see, guys, and that's how you pull a pass over over existing copper pipe. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to bend a 45 degree offset bend. This is great if your pipes that lined up and you need to swing your pipes over slightly. Um, I'm going to show you the formula um, and how you would do it. I'm using a whiteboard. Obviously, I've squared it off to make it look a lot easier to understand. So here we go, let's get straight into it, guys. So the first thing you do is you'd measure, obviously, your pipe centers, which on this one is 100 mil, which is 10 centimeters. So then you put the formula in your form. So you do your calculations, which is 100 mil, times that by 1.4, because 1.4 is a formula for a 45 degree bend that comes in at, at 140 so what we do is we mark our reference point which is say there for example and then what we do on that is we measure 140 mil from there which is roughly, well, not roughly, but it's about there, guys. So we'll take that off there. And then what I always do is I always mark around the pipe, 
but it makes it easier once it's in the bender like that there you go so you can see we've got 140 mil travel line you see it guys light is not very good there you go 140 mil and then what we do is we put that into the bender using that as a starting point on the bender and then we bend it so that on the monument bender that is 45 degrees so we bend it to that I'm trying to keep this in front of the camera so we bend that there you see guys and then we take it out like that and then we bend the other side make sure that is lined up with the guard on the bend there and then once it's in guys just make sure you straighten it off I it's hard to show you with the camera but make sure you straighten her off so she's nice and straight you actually you actually have a line on the bender there look where you can set the pipe so it's nice and straight it's nice and straight and then you bend that set that back up because you've got to be careful guys because it does actually move as you're trying to adjust so just make sure that she goes back in into there like that just checking that she's level and then bend there to 45 and so like that guys take her off and then roll that pipe from there and as you can see guys using that formula you will get it right every time you get save on fittings by pipe bending and also you get a better flow rate as well especially on gas pipes so as you can see guys perfect 45 degree offset bend look out for our next video guys and thanks for watching